top that will tell time using shadows? Ancient Egyptians were doing this more than 4,500 years ago. Grab a few simple supplies and make your own sundial. For this experiment, you will need a pencil, an unsharpened one will do just fine, a marker, tape, and a paper plate. Do this experiment on a clear, sunny day. If clouds move in, you may have to try making your sundial on a different day. So start off by taping the pencil. Well, first poke a hole through the center of the paper plate, like this, all right? Using the sharp end of the pencil. And I'm gonna stick the pencil or razor through, like this. And then tape it down so that it is secure. You can also use a book or a bowl to prop this up on, like we did this morning. So, just gonna pick it up. So you see right here, we put a bowl underneath the plate and there is a rock inside of the bowl so it keeps it down. Make sure that the plate is steady and secure. You can't just keep shifting it around or else it messes up your calculations. Each hour on the clock, trace and label the pencil shadow like we did. This morning, we started at nine o'clock. Try to get at least five shadows traced in a row. The more shadows you capture, the more better, better your sundial will be. We started from nine o'clock and then we went all the way to five o'clock. Make sure to label it so that you know which line is which hour. Now, how or why does this work actually? So, as the earth rotates eastward on its axis, the apparent position of the sun in the sky changes. This makes shadows move across the surface of the earth. And when the shadows move across the surface of the earth, our pencil has a shadow of its own too. So wherever the shadow of the pencil falls, that's where you mark your line. And that's how you can tell which hour it is. Remember to use natural light, not fake light, because you'll get so many shadows. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.